channel oh my god i'm so nervous <laughs> this is my first voiceover and vlog in a while and of course it just had to start off on a bad note can you imagine but it gets better though i promise and i decided while i'm showing you guys my makeup from what was supposed to be a whole other video why don't i give you guys a quick little story time a quick little backstory and the reason for this very last minute impromptu video but anyways i plan on giving you guys a whole transformation video where i would be getting my hair silk pressed i took out my precious soft locks that i was definitely soul tied to to be honest and that hairstyle was just too bomb i give you guys a whole rant on my natural hair journey and my heat damage my big chops my mini chops everything we were basically supposed to just have a whole bonding moment talking about hair well my hair specifically and then i got ready for my hair appointment where i was supposed to be getting my hair silk pressed and i was so nervous i was so scared i was having ptsd from past experiences see on a few and of course, I just had to beat my face so I could, you know, get the full experience while my hair was fresh out. I was taking my selfies. I was just having a blast. I was ready for the moment. I was ready for the journey. So I went to my appointment and this is what I came back with girl i was pissed i was hurt i cried after this little clip by the way because my heart was hurting like i just could not believe how terrible the experience was like and i'm not even being dramatic but basically when i went to get my hair done everything seemed okay from the jump but i knew things would take a turn for the worse when she started washing my hair and as you can see i have very 4c aka 4z hair and when she washed my hair it was just all in one big section she was just circling my hair around as she was washing it anyone who knows anything about natural hair knows that that is the best way to get your hair tangled up and it didn't seem like she was you know being nice and gentle with my hair and when she took me out of the rinse and back onto the chair she started separating my hair to comb it through and sis was literally just ripping through my hair and brushing it so roughly like girl i'm traumatized even thinking about it right now but i asked her if she could be you know a bit more gentle with it and basically her response was i mean your hair is tangled so and basically you know like i should have detangled my hair before coming to her and also that she doesn't accept anyone who is fresh out of braids so of course i apologize for not knowing but she didn't seem to get any more gentle with the brushing also side note my hair was not tangled up at all before coming to her and if i was to fully detangle my hair that means that i would have to wash it myself because y'all know 4c hair can't be detangled while it's dry so i just kind of thought when you're going to a natural hairstylist for a wash and a silk press part of your job is to detangle their hair so but yeah to cut the long story short i've been in way too many experiences where i just sat there and ate it up and hated myself when i got home but this was not about to be one of those moments i wasn't gonna let her tear up my hair and mess it up when i'm coming to her to do the complete opposite you know what i mean so i basically just told her that i was just far more comfortable leaving and paying for whatever time she had spent on my hair which was about 15 minutes or less even but she declined she didn't want me to pay her so yeah long story short um i left and here we are so in this video i'm gonna be looking busted for pretty much the entire video but trust me we're doing a whole 180 okay and my hair is going to be taken care of we're going to treat it the way it should have been treated in the first place and yeah I'm just gonna go cry now. So sorry to be coming to you guys looking hella bummy, hella crazy, but my hair is in shambles right now. Like my hair looks a hot mess. I'm going to attempt to do everything myself today and this vlog is going to be a complete hair transformation. So yeah, you guys are gonna be seeing everything that's going to be done to my hair. Depending on how like good or bad my hair looks, I might either be doing a trim or a cut. I just know my ends are so thin. It's just not as full and as thick as it used to be. So I'll probably be doing a cut and that's what I was going to the hair stylist for, but of course that didn't work out so and then i'm also going to be showing you guys the new hair that i'll be putting in it's going to be a straight long black wig all the details will be further in the video once like we get to that point but first i'm going to go to the beauty supply though because i do need to get a bunch of stuff <clears throat> to do my hair girl I just have like a bunch of things that I want to get from the beauty supply anyways. So yeah, just stay tuned if you're like super excited to see what my hair looks like and what my hair is going to look like. I'm excited, but I'm nervous and I'm scared. And that's exactly how I felt in the last vlog. And here we are again. So yeah. 
Imagine driving 20 miles plus just to make it to the beauty spot. Like, I hate moving here. Absolutely hate it. But anyways, let's go inside to get all the stuff that I need for my hair. And because I hate, you know, just making the drive to the beauty spot alone, I like to wait until I have like a few things that I need, like more than a few things that I need. So um, I'm going to be getting some things for my hair for like the wig that I'll be making. And then I'm also going to just be getting like a few hair needs and like beauty needs. I just want to make sure that the drive is worth it and that I, I don't have to drive down here again for like at least another two to three weeks. Okay, so I'm back from the beauty supply and it's finally time to just tame my hair and give it literally what it needs. But first I wanna kinda show you guys what I got from the beauty supply. We'll start with the non-hair stuff and then I'ma go into the hair stuff. Firstly, I got, yeah, I just got some earrings. For some reason, they just really caught my eye. And then I also got an eyelash curler because then I also got this little thing right here. Eyelash adhesive, but it's the one that you literally just put on your, like, on your eyelid. And because my lashes are so curly, I was like, let me just go ahead and get this eyelash curler to like kind of like straighten it and just like make it go outwards instead of on my lid so that I can have space to put this on to put my lashes on. Do you know what I mean? And then next I got some razors because these are the only things that I use to just take care of my eyebrows. And as you can see right now, they need to be done. They're pretty bad and really bushy. And then I got some jet black hair dye. For the first time ever, I wanna do jet black hair. I just wanna like see what it's like. We'll go through like all of that later, of course. And then for my actual hair, first I got this Style Factor Edge Boost Strong, whatever, edge control, basically. This stuff is so good. Basically, I've been seeing a lot of people recommend them but I'm so iffy on edge control because I've had the ones that just don't work so I was iffy on trying this one out so I decided to go ahead and give it a try first with the small one this one was like $3.99 and this one was $8.99 and obviously as you can see I've had this for a couple of weeks and it's already emptied out almost emptied out so I was like you know what since I like it um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just get the big one and then also for my hair I wanted to try out this protein treatment strengthening protein treatment it's from the brand cream of nature it has Jamaican black castor oil it's vitamin infused it has no sulfates no silicones no mineral oils blah 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 whatever also from this line of cream of nature i also got the the reconstructing anti-breakage leave-in i'm guessing it's just like leave-in conditioner so yeah that's what this looks like i just want to try this out like just something to leave in my hair to keep it moisturized basically just getting some hair food to make sure that my hair is like happy and really healthy now that we're done with all of that girl time to finally tackle what is underneath this bonnet and i'm so nervous Nervous and just so scared, but basically, are you on your way? Are you coming soon to me? No parking in the bay, so I'ma send an Uber to your place. Is my secret safe? Safe with just you and me. We can leave a trace. This is my favorite mistake. Busted, but like I said, this is about to be a whole transformation. Y'all are gonna see me done up and all of that type of stuff. So right now, what I'm about to do is just uh, moisturize my hair. I'm gonna moisturize it with this leave-in conditioner, anti-breakage leave-in conditioner, the one that I got yesterday. Let me just update y'all on this thing right here. I don't like it. I mean, I don't really know what it was supposed to do. To be honest, I just thought, well, let me just give my hair some hair food. It was sticky. It was messy, and it just like kind of made my hair feel like residuey. Anyway, so what I'm about to do now 
is just section my hair again into four parts put this leave-in conditioner in and then i'm going to be mixing both the chosen curls replenishing hair oil this is from my friend's brand super lovely like ever since i got it i've been using it a lot and then i'm also going to be using this wild growth hair oil so yeah i'm going to moisturize section by section blow out section by section after blowing it out i'm just gonna cut it trim it whatever i feel needs to be done so yeah let's just move on to working with this and getting all of this tamed and styled for your ends to be thinner than the rest of your hair but like mine is crazy Um, so as you can see like my ends I just have like a few dead ends but I wasn't really planning to but I think I'm going to flat iron it to like barely barely flat iron it just so I can get a more even trim because I want to do a length check and everything like just check out my inches with that I'm going to be able to give like a more precise measurement professional i don't care i just want the dead ends off so it just looks a lot healthier now and i'm super happy with that i'm just gonna quickly do some of my measurements for whoever's like curious i know i'm curious so in the front think that's really good for all the stuff that my hair has been through but for now we're just going to move straight into applying the wig Okay, so I'm going to take over one last time to give you guys all the deets on this hair. I was quite surprised by how many people asked about this hair, but of course I got you, babe. This hair is from Ali Pearl. This is their 6x6 HD lace closure in 26 inches. Also, I don't know about the HD part because I've definitely worked with some HD lace and this was a little bit far-fetched. Of course, you can definitely make it work with some foundation or lace tint on the lace, but still very good lace though. I just wanted to, you know, put that in there for anybody who wanted to know. <laughs> You know this hair alone feels really good this was right after i washed it and bleached the knots and you can see how lovely and natural the bleach knots look but to get into the look i dyed the hair jet black like i mentioned to you guys earlier i used the adore jet black hair dye and really just got into all of the hair i'm not even gonna focus on this part too much because i mean there isn't much of a change and i'm pretty sure everybody knows how to slap some dye onto some hair but yeah nothing too major on this part but to make sure that i don't get any dye on the lace which i didn't slight flex basically i made sure that i was taking very small sections at a time and using a very light amount on the hair closest to the lace because if you use too much i promise gravity will do what it does and eventually that dye is gonna seep down to the bottom where the lace is but yeah just look how nice and clean everything looks like it is coming together once i washed it all out and dried it this is what i am working with and i'm just going straight in with a hot comb to basically just put all of the hair in place so that i can see you know what i'm working with so i did add some foundation cream that is close to the color of my skin tone on the lace and i just set that in with a layer of got to be and i just set that in with a layer of got to be freeze blast spray i also did a very very light plug on the edges just enough to you know give me a really natural look i wasn't going for anything too crazy i also cleaned up the middle part for a really clean look and this makes all of the difference i promise but make sure you do determine where your middle part is going to be on your head because if you create that middle part on the wig head it is not going to be as straight as you thought once you put it on your head lastly um i'm just going to straighten it all up again nothing much to show you guys here everybody knows how to flat 
iron some hair one thing i do wish that i did differently was add some serum to the hair i ran out and noticed that the hair wasn't getting as silky straight as i would have liked it to just keep that in mind i finished it all up by just adding a few touch-ups here and there i added some wax stick to it i slicked it down i made sure that everything was just basically in place you know to install this hair not much has to be done because this is a closure wig i did cut off the lace in rigid motions then i went into cutting the baby hairs just to you know have that part of the process done and then to melt that lace into my head into my scalp because it is my hair <laughs> i went ahead and used the ors lace spray and i made sure that i was spraying it right in the middle of where the baby hair and the rest of the hair meet this way you don't get too much spray on your skin where the wig isn't laying and yeah i just sealed all of that in with an elastic band for about 10 minutes or so and then i just went right into fixing up the edges but yeah lastly let me put you guys on so instead of the typical mousse or foaming spray which gets so messy and wet and you know messes up your makeup if you have makeup done before i decided to just go ahead and use that edge control that i've really been loving lately and this edge control does not require any drying time it doesn't leave a white cast it doesn't require you to wrap it down you literally just slick it the way you want your baby hairs to be and you are literally good to go where did these niggas be at when they said they doing all this and all that? Tired of beefing you bums, you can't even pay me in to react. Don't wake up in the crib. These three decided to join the party, so here we go. So that's the end of today's vlog. I hope you guys really enjoyed this complete transformation, hair vlog, hair transformation, whatever you wanna call it. I hope you guys come back to see another video. I can't believe I was looking like somebody's house girl yesterday. Can you imagine? But anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Are you, Bye. Are you coming soon to me? No parking in the bay. So I'ma sit, it's my secret safe. Safe with just you.